Hey pen testers, welcome back in another video. Today, we will be talking about the major changes in the new update of Kali Linux. Well, the update was released on the 5th of December, but the official announcement just went through. As you can see I am using the latest version of Kali Linux. Kali 2021.4 You can check the version of the OS with these commands. The first update is regarding the Apple M1 chip. With its new update, now you can install Linux on virtual machines. As first, Kali only supported installing on parallels. So this update is exclusively for Apple users, as now they can now run Kali on their VM too. With the second update, the Samba client is now configured for wide compatibility, so that it can connect to pretty much every Samba server out there, regardless of the version of the protocol in use. This change should make it easier to discover vulnerable Samba servers out of the box, without having to configure Kali. This setting can be changed easily via Kali tweaks. In the hardening section, you can enable the wider compatibility, or you can choose the default value instead, which reverts back to Samba's usual default. Moving on to the third update. By default, when a Kali system is updated, the package manager downloads packages from a community mirror nearby. But did you know that it's also possible to configure Kali to get its package from the Cloudflare? What's new is, now you can use Kali tweaks to quickly configure whether APT should use community mirrors, or the Cloudflare CDN. So which one is best, Community Mirrors or Cloudflare CDN? There's no good answer. The point is, if ever Kali updates are slow, the best you can do is to try to switch from Community Mirrors to Cloudflare CDN, or the other way round. Find what works best for you. And with Kali tweaks, it's never been easier. The new release brings updates for all the three main desktops. XFCE, GNOME, and KDE, but the one thing that is common to all of them is the new window buttons design. The new design looks elegant on any of the desktops and makes it easier to spot the currently focused window. Moving on, the panel layout has been tweaked to optimize horizontal space and make room for two new widgets, the CPU usage widget and the VPN IP widget, which remains hidden unless a VPN connection is established. To finish with the modifications, a shortcut to PowerShell has also been added to the terminal's drop-down menu. With this addition, you can now choose between the regular terminal, root terminal, and PowerShell. The workspaces overview has been configured to the button's appearance, as the previous configuration miniature view was too wide. Now that each workspace button takes less space in the panel, the default number of workspaces is increased to 4. You can add or remove workspaces with Alt plus Insert or Alt plus Delete. You can also move through workspaces with Control plus Alt plus the arrow key to move in the direction of the arrow key. You can also use Control plus Alt plus the workspace number to move to a specific workspace, based on its number. It would not be a Kali release if there were not any new tools added. This is the list of new tools which has been added in the new Kali update. You can find these and install them from the network repositories. Other than the bare metal image, there are many updates done with the NetHunter and for the ARM images. Like now you can use the Kali NetHunter to customize your own Facebook and Messenger email notifications for your social engineering attacks. Linux support is also extended to Raspberry Pi 02. In this update, GNOME Desktop has received not one, but two version bumps. All the themes and extensions have been updated to support the new shell, giving it an elegant look. With the latest update, Kaboxer tools no longer look out of place, as it brings support for window themes and icon themes. This allows the program to properly integrate with the rest of the desktop and avoids the usage of ugly fallback themes. Here is a comparison of how ZenMap looks with the default Kali dark theme compared to the old appearance. So what are you waiting for? Start downloading already. If you already have an existing Kali Linux installation, remember you can always do a quick update with these commands. I will put them in the description. Leave a like if you got any useful information from me. Keeps me motivated. Subscribe for latest updates about ethical hacking and pen testing.